concert, um, tribute to Misha Elman. This concert is dedicated to Misha Elman, and the last player is playing. And in this concert, it's very special. It's um, all about Misha Elman, and I played the Vinyovsky Souvenir de Moscow, which is like what he played as his debut for his debut when um, he first went to London, the first time he went to London. So it was great fun playing on stage. I mean, the audience were very, very warm. And here is a program here. And yeah, so you can see that I played over here. So it was very nice. And in this concert, um, Misha Elman's two granddaughters, both from America, um, called Dana Prince and Terry Magnin, um, they came to listen all the way from America. So it's like a privilege to play for them as well. And I'm going to meet them very soon. You see over here, this piece is, um, wait, this piece is by Vinyovsky. This one is um, arranged by Misha Elman. And then these last two piece, pieces are all composed by Misha Elman. And the very last piece, the tango, this one, is dedicated to his wife. So I think, that, yeah, this is a photo of him. Well, Leo is very excited to go to the pool party after this concert. But I can assure you that I feel most excited playing in this concert. What do you say, Leo? No. watched him on YouTube, but he would lift his eyes and lift his head. And I, I, I was 16 when my grandfather passed, passed away. So I knew my grandfather really well. I used to sit and watch him practice. He practiced every morning for two hours, usually in the afternoon for a couple hours. He practiced the very day he passed away. And I loved the way you lifted your head. It was really cute. So I'll just lift. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I am in a coach for a day trip on a free day today. And we're going to some exciting places. Behind me, there's a mountain over here. And over that mountain is Lebanon. Luckily enough, the, these two countries, since we are in Lebanon, are in peace right now. And you can look at the mountain in peace. Yes. Everything was shared, people worked, 
uh, for their own, for the kibbutz uh, uh, welfare, for the kibbutz living. Um, and they uh, made everything for themselves. They had to start everything from the beginning. This is why they made it a kibbutz, because they needed to uh, help and support one another physically and mentally. My name is Asa, and I was born in the kibbutz. The whole kibbutz was to achieve goals, to uh, achieve Zionism, to achieve equality and socialism. That's the idea of the kibbutz. The kibbutz believe in equality. As you can see, I have the